Hi. So what can you tell us about what's coming up next season? Uh, nothing. <laughs> they don't tell us. They don't anything. tell us anything. They don't trust us with that kind of uh, that kind of information. This guy right here has a big mouth. Big mouth, loose lips. A big Twitter mouth. Big, big, Twitter, big Twitter, Twitter mouth. mouth. Yeah. Can't no, we, we find out as soon as we get the scripts and never in advance. And it's actually a lot more exciting as an actor working that way because um, we're all fans of the show and we don't get to experience the show when it comes out like everybody else does. So for us, the first time we get an episode is when we get to read it. So sometimes like, the script will land in our email box at like one in the morning. And if I see it come in, I'm like, oh, damn it, I was going to go to bed, but I have to read the script. So. One benefit that we do get is that often episodes have like... We get we get white, then we get pink, then yeah. we get yellow, then Super we get green. So there's like so we got to like double double salmon ones or something yeah. like that. So, so many different so different so many different versions. So we get so we don't get to see it for the first time on TV, but we do get many different versions of the same mm -hmm. episode. That's true. I think the obvious arc for season three is, is there's going to be huge military influence. There's uh, there's going to be Project Caster versus Project Lita. I think the female clones are going to be in a lot more danger than they were in season two. Almost because definitely. The, because yeah. the military knows a lot more about them than, than they do know about the military. More hijinks from Donnie and Allison. Definitely. For yeah. sure. You gotta have more um, hijinks. Yeah, and, and just uh, a lot more flatulence from Elena probably as well. Because <laughs> <laughs> that girl can eat. That girl can Here's eat. Hoping. Here's hoping. Because yeah. that's, that's good stuff. Yeah. That's good TV. Oh, highbrow. Yeah. We, like to, we like the highbrow stuff. Yeah. Hey, Ari, were you surprised when you, you know, your, your character started supporting, we didn't really see him very often, were you surprised at the arc? Yes. <laughs> In a word, yes. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to be dead in episode six. By the hands of Paul. And uh, so episode six came, I read it, and I wasn't dead. And then episode seven came, and then episode eight, and, and, and then I got a vote call. And uh, yeah, surprise is surprise is a mild mild word for it. It just shows you how much faith we all have, like the creators, everybody has in, in Ari to take on this task. I mean, same thing happened with Aaron Paul in Breaking Bad, right? Wasn't he supposed to be dead after season one? But no, episode one. Episode like one, right away. But they wow. kept him around, and he turned into one of the best characters, in, you know, in television history. And I, I think Ari can do the same. Yeah. No pressure, buddy. Yeah, no pressure. Warren, you jealous in June one? Hell no. <laughs> you can't clone I like this sexiness. <laughs> you can't clone Donnie. The, the screens will explode. No, it's, it's probably an actor's dream to be able to play all those different roles, which it is. It would be a, a wonderful thing. I think it would be way too gimmicky for Paul to be a clone. I think it was discussed for a lot of the male characters to be clones. But I think bringing a, a new new face in, someone that no one anticipated being a male clone, I think that was the wise and, and smart choice for the creators to make, I'm sure. It's going to be exciting to see male clones and female clones. And yeah, man. It only makes sense in terms of the story with them cloning human beings. Of course they're going to try both sexes, and, and I think it's really, really interesting that the military has gone on the male route and that yeah. the uh, private sector has gone with with females and also Tony as well. So it's, it's a really cool balance that's going on. It's going to be explosive. I'm sorry. No, that's right. I was going to say, did each of you have any favorite episodes? Um, oh, I see. <laughs> Gosh, it, it, it's through the, both seasons combined, or just season two? In general. In general, my favorite uh, episode is Variation Under Domestication, is when everybody uh, yeah. converges on, on the Hendrix household. I think there, there was such a great mix of, of dark comedy and drama and the suspense, and, and just every character had something to do. I thought that was really hard to for us. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough for me because I think it's just, it's almost like summing up what I've done in different locations, like the garage is so much fun. The craft room of terror is so much fun. It's hard. To, it's hard to pick out my favorite episodes because there's so many of them. And I'll take the uh, first episode of uh, season two, where I, I first show up, and, and really that's just like my dream. That was a dream. That was awesome. And, and it'll always so you know, cool. Forever will be the diner scene. Diner so scene. Cool. Right. Be forever. Love it. Yeah. Do you think that um, Dylan, or not Dylan, <laughs> Paul has any chance with Sarah, or is he like under Rachel's spell now? What's, no, what's I, think, happen there? I, don't, I don't think he's under Rachel's spell at all. He, I think he was playing her the whole time, even though she thought she had the upper hand. Paul helped Sarah, Paul saved Sarah at the end of season two. So I don't think he would do that if he didn't have any feelings for her. I think he still harbors a lot of strong feelings for her. And who knows, that could possibly be the end game. I, I ship it. <laughs> that's my that's my Comic Con word today. Ship, ship, ship. 
ship it. <laughs> Thank you. How about some more Donnie, Allison hijinks? Yes, yeah, please. They're, they're stronger than ever. What, yeah, what's, I mean, what's gonna happen there? I think after watching for two seasons, Donnie and Allison just bicker and and, and come to blows and glue and all that other stuff. Um, <laughs> life and life, you know, just regular good old marriage stuff uh, that everybody goes through. Um, it's nice to see that sort of chapter. I hope put away, and now you see them working as a team and really. They've rekindled their love and they're finding this this new chapter in their relationship and I, I think it's such a fun thing to grow. So Bonnie and yeah. Clyde, baby. Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah. The best. I love Donnie and Allison. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.